Is this Asian guy here in this clip being a simp for his white girlfriend, or is he just really secure in his relationship? You know, this is our first time covering a world star comment section. Let's run the clip. How do you feel about her having guy friends? That's so really cool. I've always had guy friends. He's met every single guy friend I've had. I had girlfriends. Some of my guy yeah, friends guy has friends. literally watched his yeah. vlog. So you don't care if she were to spend time with them one-on-one? -on -one? No, I think that's insecure if you do. How is that insecurity? How There's that no insecurity. insecurity. <laughs> I'm just secure with who I am. I'm secure in the relationship. And as long as you're secure in the relationship, everything works out. You don't think her being in that environment with another man one-on-one -on -one would create a bridge between you two? No, because at the end of the day, relationships are all about trust. And if you don't trust your person, you shouldn't be with them, right? So if you trust them enough to be in a relationship, in, in a one-on-one -on -one situation with a male figure or whatever, it doesn't really matter. If those friendships existed before me, who am I to say no, right? At the end of the day, as a man, it's about being confident. And if you're confident enough, it doesn't matter. But why would your woman want to spend time with another man one-on-one -on -one if she has you? Let me ask you because a question. Do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you have do you have any friends that are females? Maybe we gotta go. Oh man, they titled this. She was deaf deleting messages. Dude get asked how he feels about his girl having guy friends. Andrew, let's be honest. The vast majority of commenters that were dissing this guy, obviously there were some people in support of him, were non-Asian. Yeah, guys, and uh, obviously, you know, this is uh, going very viral. So we're gonna cover the comment section, the controversy, what we actually think is happening in this clip. So please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. But you know what's not controversial? Smala Sauce, check it out, very delicious, almost selling out of our first batch. Get it now, smalasauce.com. Make sure you shake well. Anyway, let's just get into the comment section. Somebody said, she's using that Wuhan boy for his STEM money. No way in hell she is attracted to his shrimp in his pants self. Jeez. And there was a ton of other comments. I'll just pop them up right here. I mean, these are essentially negative and bashing on the Asian guy, right? Saying that, oh, Asian guys only get with uh, cute non-Asian girls when they're simps. Oh, Asian women don't even want Asian guys. Everyone knows that Asian dudes are suckers. Uh, I've noticed a trend of Asian men overly pandering to women. This has got to be one of the worst examples so far because he's getting played right in front of his face. Um, yeah, there's just a bunch of other comments. I'll pop them up here. Um, Andrew, these comments, I'm going to go ahead and assume these are not Asian guys leaving comments dissing this Asian guy. No, they, these are non-Asians. But I don't know the exact mix of breakdown of ethnicity. Well, a lot of people say on Worldstar, I'm not saying for sure, because it's probably a mix of everything. They People say that everybody pretends to be black on Worldstar, whether they're black or not. Right. They type as if they're black, I guess. Well, because that's just the internet, right? Yeah, that's yeah, been the yeah. internet since, for the gaming days, even like on the headsets, <sighs> people fake things, right? So David, do, yeah, we're pointing out certain comments, right? But does it seem like most guys are against him or with him? I would say in the world star comments section, most guys are against what looks like to be this, I would say, good looking Korean guy with a Eastern European girl who is also good looking. Mm -hmm. But to me, people don't understand that this couple in 2023 is actually incredibly trendy. This is a pattern. This is an archetype. Sharp faced, good looking Korean guy who looks like he could be a K-pop star or could have been, you know what I mean? Like at least a K-pop backup dancer with a Eastern European like Barbie, you know what I mean? More yeah, like a, I mean, he a looks princess like, archetype. He looks like if there was ever a Korean Batman character, he might play Batman. Well, yeah, because his face is sharp, like how they draw Batman, right? I would say that, you know, he's tall. He's kind of like skinny, and but like masculine still in like a K-pop way. Wait, like, wait, wait, he'd so, be a K-pop bad boy. He can't be a bad boy like in the streets so, of America, but like he, it's like, it works. It's a, this archetype of guy gets a lot of girls in 2023. He kind of looks like he would work at a icy fresh with Ben Baller or something so like that. So you're making the argument that it's not even that crazy that they're dating. Like the, the disparity between her being a European girl. I don't know if she's white it looks or like whatever. Her name is Anastasia. Right, right, right. But, but like this couple actually fits, you're saying. It actually makes sense, but a lot of people on the internet don't understand that they just see an Asian guy with a slim, white-looking girl, and they're like, oh, no way this Asian guy could yeah. get her. No way. Right, right. He's got to be throwing money at her. Right. He's got to be letting her cheat on him or whatever right, like that. Right, right, right. But a lot of people don't understand <laughs> that the Eastern European woman and good-looking Korean guy couple that's is super common that's in 2023. Apparent. But a lot of people, if you live outside of L.A. and New York and you're not seeing the IRL reps, you're going to think, 
it's like unbelievable. Right? Okay. So and is I that think, is that your main take? Your yeah, main I think take. that that's my main take. Also, I do think that people are just like hating on this guy because they can't get what he gets. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, we all know, Andrew, the internet section, uh, these are real feelings. But would you say that people who tend to leave internet comments and a high volume of internet comments are not necessarily killing it in real life? Dude, I will tell you this, guys. You think that Asian men are the only type of man that's bitter on the internet? No. And I will tell you, in the World Star comment section, if you are anonymously commenting and you are bashing on other guys or bashing on other women and you are leaving toxic comments anonymously, trust me, you are probably closer to an in-spell than you think. So there's a lot of non-Asian in-spells on the internet, actually. But we don't think of it. Even black, white in-spells. Right? Latino in spells. Everybody. The internet is full of I N C E L's. The internet is full of in spell thinking people. So I'm saying, like, you think that Asian guys are the only bitter type? No, these guys are bitter about their situation. Well, well, every guy of every type can be bitter. There's a distribution. A lot of people don't understand there's a variance. Just like there's a variance of attractiveness in every group of guy or value or whatever you think your algorithm or equation is, you know, so many guys argue about what's their, uh, the algo or what's the equation of how you develop value in this society, this fishbowl, that fishbowl. I guess what I'm trying to say is this though. Would you agree that there still is this prevailing thought in spell or not, Andrew, that like, Asian brands, let's just say that Asian guys are like Chinese sneaker brands right now. If you really know about Chinese sneaker brands, some of the best shoes coming out right now, performance wise, are all the Chinese brands, whether it's the Way Away 10 from Li Ning or the highly rated by everybody. Ultra high rated by the professional sneaker reviewers. But when you go online and you hear that Kyrie is signing with Anta, Jokic is signing with 361, Andrew, have you seen the comments? They're like, people are like, oh, all those shoes are about to fall apart in the game. Mm. All their careers are going downhill if you got to sign with a Chinese brand. Yeah. It's almost like the same feeling of like, you know how like, People want iPhones, right? And even though the S23 Ultra from Samsung or the Sony phones Xperia or uh, the mm. OnePlus Fold, people still be like, come on, that Asian Android companies is trash. Like so people still say that even though the professional, like sneaker reviewers, the phone reviewers, they rank them, all those phones, very, very highly rated. So David, are you saying that when it comes to Asian guys, ranking Asian guys, the experts or the kind of analytical people. People who are in the know and know what they're- They understand that Asian guys are a pretty good value and they might be even underrated right now and undervalued. Yeah, and to any anybody who's looking on the outside in. But the mass main demographic, like the general population doesn't understand it. Yes. And the general population still sees Asian guys as below them. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I would compare it to the general stereotype of any group that has like a rank in a certain field. For example, Andrew, anytime women have a really good sports highlight, uh, particularly in basketball, you're gonna see the Instagram comment, like 70% of it is gonna, depending on what page it's posted on, is gonna come out against women. Right, those are a lot of kind of like, dudes who are commenting to put women down. Be like, oh, oh I, could, I, I could beat her when I was in high school. Right, and she's right, making right. millions as a pro or whatever, right? So I guess they like, because Asian guys in a very, very macro sense, right? Andrew, Asian guys rank very high in money making, making fundamentally sound decisions in life, mm. going to school and learning academically at a high level. But having a big schlong and taking your girl at the club, you would not say that that would be Something that people would think that an Asian guy is going to do. Right. I think to the experts or people who are thinking long term or Asian guys seem like a sensible choice for a lot of women, you know, especially when they're thinking about family. And I think that if you're thinking about even stability, if you just want a stable boyfriend, I think a lot of Asian guys fit into that. But you're right on the kind of hypercharged, hyper masculine, right? Hyper masculine, volatile, like spontaneous, uh, hyper sexy. Uh, ranking, maybe they're not ranking as high and, right and now. And I think still. even girls who are into the K-pop or K-drama archetype are not necessarily getting with those guys for that reason either. Yeah, They're yeah. liking a different archetype, almost yeah. like a, more like a Timothy Chalamet. Well, David, I'll, I'll just say this. Most people in the comments section are not analyzing it like us. All right. Is there any truth to the fact that <coughs> Asian guys have had some high profile cases of quote unquote simping for white women in the past five years? <coughs> yeah, no, it matters. It matters. I mean, there's that Korean surgeon in New York um, who was, you know, handsome looking and well off himself, 
but he caught simping because his girlfriend was be, uh, being also an escort on the side. Which and was unbelievable. I didn't even know. I felt like that. I, that where that, was the logic? That, that I think one? that's a failure on due diligence. You know, All right, what I about, think he deserved better. What but. about Kevin Sujiyahara? Andrew, he was a uh, Japanese American head of a studio, and he got tripped up also by a similar situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and he lost everything. There has been cases of Asian guys simping. There has been some famous cases, and it's unfortunate because there's. I wish there was more famous cases of Asian guys overachieving with women and dating. Oh, this and this celebrity and this model, and like, oh, like, what if uh, what's your name, Giselle, who divorced Tom Brady? What's the next guy's Asian? Right. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, that would just be like, you know, an uh, older, strong, buff. Or if that, uh, I think she got with a Brazilian jujitsu instructor. He could have been half Japanese, Brazilian would have helped, right? Who knows? Um, so do you think that this guy is getting played out for you personally? Because this is how the, the comment section was played. I mean, for me, true. I was watching her fingers. I don't actually think she's deleting text messages. I think she's just texting somebody back. I yeah, had to look into I, I it though. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, listen, if she really is deleting messages where she's like cheating on him right in front of him on camera, then she is a toxic person. Right. She's a terrible girlfriend. She's and a I, terrible person. And I don't even think this guy was doing the interviews who's very famous, I think in Atlanta or Miami. I don't, he's not even, he doesn't even do the trade phones thing. That's somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that they're just in a very 50-50 relationship. I don't think he's in a hyper-dominant relationship, but I think he's in something more new school where it's a little bit more like, you know what I mean? More like half, I mean, half. maybe they're not even like exclusive. Maybe they're not. They're just dating around. Maybe they're just like having fun for the night. So that's why he's like, yeah, sure. She can hang out with guy friends because I'm not going to marry yeah. her. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, let's be fair here. I see what the comment section is saying. I like get he it. could be in a more, I guess, uh, in a dominant position, but it doesn't seem like he is. But that could be their situation. Yeah, I remember why, why? I used to date this. Uh, Mongolian girl who kind of was more with the Russian side and the Ru the Eastern European women they can have that like very bold sort of like yes we are going here tonight vi you know what I mean like it, it can, I could see how from the outside looking in that could be the perception but then when you're in it it's like 50-50 kind of I mean you could be in a relationship with a dominant Asian woman too who has gotta be white or I mean could be a dominant black woman dominant yeah. Latina too you know do you think right now that the Asian pretty boy has more of a 1990s R&B stereotype? Where you know how those guys were all considered simps for women? Andrew Usher, Boys to Men, Montel Jordan, Keith Sweat, uh, Carl Thomas. That was like they they you know it, you must love that, me. Andrew, baby. Andrew, we have to go so far as to say Mario Winans made a song called "I Don't Wanna Know," basically saying if you're cheating on me, don't let me know because I'll be too heartbroken. Was that not a simp song? They were simping for girls back in, but there's nothing wrong with being a simp. I don't know. Like, if it works, it works, guys. Like, the Mario Winans took it too yeah, far. Yeah, everybody's going to have to um, figure out their own situation. But I'll tell you this a lot of dudes on the internet that leave comments, they just want to feel like they would never settle for that. But I'm like, given the option to, would you, if you should be so lucky to be able to simp. For a beautiful woman, some of you. You will right. not even have that option. I will say this. I do think that if a guy, let's say, for example, this Korean guy's pretty good looking, right? If he was in K-Town, he may be able to project some type of more lopsided masculinity. But it's true if he wants to date non-Asian women, I feel like Asian guys fit more into like a new school masculinity archetype. I mean, but like if he, nice I'm saying guy. if he stayed in the Asian world, he might be able to project an old You're style. You're saying that in the Asian world, he would more likely get to be that masculine F boy. But yes. in the non-Asian world in Miami, he's got to play the nice guy. Yes. You're saying that's that, how it, because it, it pans the, out. The fish bowl thing is different. You're a star in high school and college. In the NBA, you're setting screens as a role player. You don't get an ISO maestro in yeah. wing. I don't um, know. Anyway, let's just get into the Reddit comments from the Asian guy forum, Andrew. Somebody said, man, it's just all uneducated people who don't really know things, and they just got to deal with a changing world. Uh -huh. So, I mean, do you think that's true? That I mean, that's just the world star comments. Yeah. Um, somebody said that, you know, it's interesting. Different guys judge Asian guys differently. Yeah. White guys, they may judge Asian guys off a of societal ranking. Let's say, for example, black dudes. Uh, some of them are really cool with Asian dudes, but some of them may also judge Asian guys off like some sort of perceived testosterone lacking ranking. Yes, that is true. I agree with that. Yes, yes. Different people have different metrics of how they assess people, right? Or assess different things. Um, somebody said, this is how people see us in a macro sense. 
and I just feel like these internet comments reveal it. Mm. Yes or no? I think that at, at the most extreme end, there's some truth to this. Um, I mean, said, World Star, by the, by the way, that, that comment section is not, it's not Quora right. or Reddit. They're not the very educated people. Somebody said that everybody who is jealous right now of people or an archetype is saying acting like this right now if you go on the internal indian internet right now there's a lot of indian guys that are saying this ag against all the new young gen z indian girls who love k-pop guys there's a lot of guys who are jealous low-key of asian men at least on the internet there's a lot of dudes out there right. that are jealous of how trendy asian men got now whether you're whether your sister, cousin, the your woman crush that you like is trying to date an Asian guy, which I, I don't think they all or, are. Or just watching K-pop, right? But if they, they're they enamored by Asian men, then a lot of guys are jealous. Because they're like, because I don't in the get male, it. Because in the male gaze, they can't understand no, it, No, because right? in the male gaze, you're just thinking, you're like, well, if they're six foot four, Jason Momoa, and they're buff, sure, I guess. I can't really argue with that because I understand they're just like a Hulk character or like a Thor. Do, do you think they could more understand like what Tim Chung, the cop, yeah, if they're six foot four Asian and buff, sure. Tatted I up, guess, got guns, I whatever. guess I'll take it. That's an anomaly. But man, if they're these skinny, soft boy, soft hair, wispy hair, like Asian guys, ah, I can't take it. Right, no muscles, no gains or whatever like that, right? Yeah, but they're well, super ripped, yeah. who knows? Somebody said, hating means we're onto something. There's no successful man without a crowd of haters. Keep going, boys. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I mean, that's what I would still tell like Leaning or 361 or Anta or like, you know what I mean? Like Chinese phone companies, I'll be like, yeah, I mean, it's true that some measure of people are never going to be into OnePlus or like 361 just because it's like, yeah. you know, an Asian brand, but you got to just keep developing R&D, just keep attacking. Yeah, right? I mean, I think there's going to be a lot more Asian guys in the coming years that are going to have to have super thick skin, going to have to be super, super confident because there are going to be haters. Now, this is mostly internet. Like, I really don't see that many haters in person i used to feel it a little bit more five years oh, ago do you you have an interesting story real quick around the les oh when i was at a bar this was five or six years ago though when i was in new york city i was at a speakeasy bar with a korean girl she was a newscaster so she, she has she had she a look kinda, she had some american appeal she, to her right yeah a lot of that and, the and look. there was like we were at the bar just enjoying ourselves very yeah, getting into it having just smiling having fun having drinks the vibes yeah and i don't know if we were maybe being too loud, but this, these two big white guys, they kept staring at us. They could not stop staring at us. And I think no, maybe- No, let's be honest. You were not in an Asian bar though. Yeah, I wasn't in an Asian bar. You were an, an excuse bar. me French. You were an excuse me French. Uh, uh, at, at a boy. Yo. At a speakeasy in Elias. And then uh, I just felt this like looming like shadow of these white guys just staring at us being almost like I could feel them saying like, man, why is she with him? What? She likes him? Like, look at this Asian guy. God, they're freaking no, no, annoying. No like, gains. He got a pompadour. Yeah, he's shorter than me, you know. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. So, I can't believe Kyrie or Jokic signed with Chinese sneaker brands, yeah. right? No, literally, it's like, like that. I can't, but like, I should be getting girls like this easily. You know what it is, Brand? It's like sort of like some people, Andrew, they're like Air Max Impact 4s. They're low ranked Nikes, but they're like, dude, I'm from Nike, the brand that created Jordan. And uh, I'm like, you know, the brand that has the LeBron 21. And here's this guy from like one of these Chinese brands, even though you're like one of the top ranked shoes from one of the Chinese brands or whatever. You know what I mean? You just got good ratings, but then they're just like, it's from like, one of those brands. I, so they're trying to, <coughs> cat, even though they're not even a good version of their brand, they're just looking at their brand's market cap being way more dominant than your brand. You know, when we think about the world changing and all these issues that divide people and people feeling like the world is changing in a negative way. And, and the rankings of their ranking is dropping, right? Yeah, they feel like their ranking is dropping. This is one of the things on the list, actually. Maybe not top five, but of the things, there's a lot of bitter guys that are like, what? Asian guys are having a moment? Or like, what? Asian guys are having a moment? They don't deserve that moment. Right. They don't deserve it. Like, why do girls like them? And it's like, dang, man. Like, all right. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, Ching Ching Wing Wing is having his day to, to them. Yeah. Right? I don't know. I mean, it's just something that you're going to have to deal with and we're going to see more. So I wouldn't say don't let it bother you as much because it's mostly internet stuff. I really don't see it in person as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, tell, hey, like I said, man, 
Sony keep developing the Xperia, Samsung keep working on the S23 Ultra, Chinese brands keep mm. doing your thing, all the other brands. I want to see uh, Vintech come up too as a car. Just keep keep developing your whip. Vinfast. Yeah, Vinfast, I'm sorry. Vinfast, keep putting the money into R&D, just doing the things you yeah. need to do to execute. I mean, ultimately for me, this is my takeaway. It's agitation. The agitation, like you said, Andrew, is causing cognitive dissonance. Some people thought that the old ranking of Ching Chang, Ping Wang, Wing Wang was going to be low forever. Yeah, it's going to be locked in forever. But That's it's, what you it, thought. But it's rising, and some people is rocking with it, and some people are not rocking with it. And the people who are not rocking with it, maybe they need to look at themselves, or they're just like, it's just, you know what I mean? Like just everything's changing on them and they can't take it and they're being negative. Yeah. So, hey, listen, guys, trust me. If you, if you lived in LA or New York, you've seen this couple. Right, right, right. Anyways, yeah. let us know what you think in the comment section below. Keep it civil. We encourage the argument. Um, is it right? Is it wrong? How should people deal with it? Or is it just is what it is? Is it just a changing thing that, you know, different people positioned differently in society are dealing with differently? Let us know. Until next time with the Hot Pop Boys, we out. Peace. Peace.